All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, before I get into the math lesson, chapter 12, or uh, yeah, chapter 12, lesson seven, halves, thirds, and fourths. I want to talk about today's comma assignment. Today, we're looking at commas and a date. So when we look here, January 19th or 29th, 2020, I would add the comma between the day and the year. So when you're looking at when you're writing a letter and you write out today's date of April 28th, 2020, you're going to put the comma between 28 and 2020. So just want to talk about that assignment. All right, let's go ahead and look at halves, thirds, and fourths. <clears throat> Problem of the day. Brianna is using tiles to make a garden path. She wants to use two kinds of tile that are not exactly the same. They both should have four sides and four angles. So what two shapes could she use that have four sides and four angles? She would use a square and a rectangle. Okay, circle the faces that make each shape. So talk about the faces that would make a pyramid and what faces would make a cube. Go ahead and pause the video for a minute and discuss that. All right, to make the pyramid, remember your side faces are triangles and your base, which you cannot see, is a square. And a cube, you need six squares. Test practice, if you could put these shapes together, what three-dimensional shape would you make? I got four rectangles and two squares. I would make a rectangular prism. It's basically a rectangle, but it's 3D shape. That's where the word prism comes in. All right, so how can I partition um, two-dimensional shapes into two, three, or four equal parts? So I want to make them equal parts. So let's start with two. To split this circle into two equal parts, I could draw a line down the middle. Now, I could also just draw a line and circle any which direction I needed to. But that was just one. So there's my one line to partition or split this into two equal parts. So to make it three equal parts, I would want to start in the middle and I'd go up. And then I need to split these two sides. So again, not exactly perfect, trying my best here. Um, try to split it three equal parts. Not the best work, but it works. Um, how can I make it four equal parts? Well, I wanna split it in half, and then I need to split that half into halves. So now I have four equal parts. So today we're looking at how to draw lines or look at where we would draw lines to make things, shapes into equal parts. So here I need to show a square. And with my square, I am going to partition the shapes to show two equal parts first. So I'm gonna split it right down the middle. Could I have went sideways? Absolutely. Now I need to show three equal parts. So I need to split it this way. Oops, I need to move that one down. So hold on. Three equal parts there. I could have also went vertically instead of horizontally. Same thing, um, splitting it into four. Splitting it into fours, I can split it. Oh my goodness, my mouse is touchy today. Right down the middle. And I split that across the middle. Also, I could have split it equally vertically into four groups or horizontally. Now to make four equal groups that way, I only need three lines. To make this square into three equal groups, I only need two lines. So pay attention because how many lines you use to make the equal parts does not equal the same. Like to make it into two equal parts, I used one line. So there's some examples. All right, so I have Samir, Harper, and Maya rent a go-kart. They will share the rental time in equal parts. Samir drives a go-kart, then Harper drives a go-kart. 
how much time, how much rental time is left for Maya? Think about it. It would be a third. So it won't try my best here. So we'll think about a clock, not the prettiest. <clears throat> so with my clock, we need to split that into thirds so that, okay, we all get the same amount. Again, it's not exactly round. I know it's okay. So I'll do that. So then Samir would get a ride, a turn, Ma Harper would get a turn, and Maya. So they would all get one third of the time. Um, not going to do the math in my world. Not necessary. Um, so let's look at the guided practice. You can partition and... I want you to remember that word. Partition means to separate shapes into equal parts. So when I say partition, that means to separate them into equal parts. Um, two equal parts or two halves. Each part is half of a whole. Here, think of your pizza. This side's for you. This side's for your little brother or sister. You each get a half. Over here, cake. You get a half. They get a half. So that's splitting it into two. Three equal parts means, oh man, you gotta share your pizza with you, your brother, sister, and your mom. Same thing with your cake. You gotta share it three ways, which is the third. Fourth, or a fourth of a whole, means you, your sibling, your mom, and your dad, and same with cake. You get four pieces. So you're gonna split that into fours. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I don't wanna do that because I'll show you guys all the answers. I want to look ahead at problem solving. So Ava's mom bought a pizza. Ava ate one equal part. Her friend ate equal part. And there was one left over for her mom, for Ava's mom. How much of the pizza was left? So think of a circle. And you get a piece. Friend gets a piece. And the mom gets a piece. So they'd get blank of the pizza. All right, Gracie had a round slice of watermelon. She and her sister shared the slice equally. How much did each girl eat? So again, we're looking at a circle. They each shared the same part, and there's two of them. So what would you say, how much of the watermelon did they get? Uh, let's look at your brain builder. Sadie is making a picture for her cousin. She folds a piece of paper in half, then she folds it in half again. How many equal parts are there when she opens it? And the last brain builder. So look, you don't have to write anything, um, but I want you to draw the same number of equal parts in two different ways. So here they split the square into four equal parts or a fourth of fourths vertically. How can you split the next two squares different ways into fours? Um, I already added your STEM project to class dojo. And it's already posted. So I want you with a piece of paper, use the whole paper. Don't just draw me a little tiny, tiny picture that I can't see. Use the whole paper to create a drawing using only 2D and 3D shapes. Have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday.